Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a quick look at on-premises data gateway. So I'll try to explain what it is, what is it used for and how to install it. Basically, the main idea behind on-premises data gateway is when you have multiple workloads, some of them are running in the cloud and some of them are running on-premises. Uh, and uh, we need to have a way to connect these two workloads together. Let's say you have a Power BI or a Power Automate flow that uh, you want to trigger somehow from the cloud flow. And in order to do that, or, or you need to get some information from on-premises and send it back to the cloud and you do not have an API connection. So this gateway builds a connection that you want to use, right? So let's have a quick look on how to install it. Basically, you just go to this Microsoft article, uh, look for service data gateway install. And then, you know, here I already clicked here on this download button. It's downloaded. So let's see what step, steps I need to make to have it installed. So I accept the license, All right? It's quite simple, quite straightforward to do. The installation has started. So it takes a moment for the installation to go ahead. And normally, if you use it in your productive environment, it would be a workstation that is always on, right? That is always accessible. Because, of course, if your machine goes to sleep, there is no way for the on-premises data gateway to work. So it's almost done now. Yeah, so basically it just takes a couple of minutes to, to, to be processed and to be installed. Let's look at this article while it's been installed. So first we download it, install this gateway and then we do a quick configuration. So here I'm going to use my test account. This is my test account to sign in to this service, to, to this gateway. Now I get redirected to Windows Azure. Just go ahead and sign in. Okay, of course I missed my password. Oh, I forgot it, I guess. Okay, I got it from the third try. So you see here, it says whether I register or to migrate or take over existing gateways. For me, it's a new instance. So I just go ahead and register a new gateway on this machine. I give it a name. I put a recovery key. One more time. And confirm the recovery key. Then the 
there is also an option here you see add to an existing gateway cluster but this is more advanced option so for now I'm just doing a very simple configuration and I'm going to use it mainly um, you see it says the gateway is online as uh, ready to be used and then I select you see here I'm going to use it mainly for power apps and power automate in West Europe because I'm located in Europe and this one is for logic apps for this I'm not I do not really need it at the moment so for now it's I can go ahead and click close and that's it or oh, it, it's installed and premises data gateway so it, it looks here as an app All right if I close it I can look at the service settings right? and there is a special service account for that diagnostic network components your gateway is all set up great that's it it's very simple I just need to sign in and uh, you know use my specific user so this would be the first step if you want to connect your cloud flows with on-prem flows this is a prerequisite that you have to do and I hope it's been helpful to you just follow the steps uh, described in this article and you'll be up and running uh, on this gateway so have a great day and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.